Well, now we go downstairs to the Peter Neal Media Centre and Tim Glover. Yeah, welcome to the Royal London 360 Superstock TT press conference and our top three in third place, Connor Cummins. In second place, Ryan Farquhar and our winner again, Ian Hutchinson. Well, let's start with third place and Connor Cummins. Uh, it ma makes up a little bit for Saturday. Yeah, the uh, Saturday was a bit of a disappointment, but you know we got the first thing I did when I came in is you know took all the positives from it all really and sat down with the team and we just concentrated on the week ahead and we're, you know we're here today um, with the third and uh, super stock race and you know I'm really pleased. It was always going to be a hot pace. We knew that even before the starters flag went down. But the top five on lap one went over 128 on super stock machinery. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think I should know that. But yeah, that's, that's fast times really for a bike you can just wheel out of a showroom essentially, and uh, you know it, it just makes for close race. And uh, yeah, I think that's what's happened today. You fitted in really well with the Macadoo team, haven't you? Yeah, the, um, all the Macadoo guys are really easy to get on with. They've um, there's no question about their passion about you know want to get results and they put everything they can into the bikes and um, it's it's down to them that I've I've had you know good bikes today and all week really to get me third today and uh, you know, it's, a, it's a big thank you to them and uh, all my personal sponsors Solway Slate and Tile, Poker Stars, Elas, Manx Sports Aid Foundation, Duke and uh, Houses to Rent and yeah Elas again so it's uh, and everyone else helped me it's thank you very much. You've been well trained on the PR stuff there. <laughs> it's all uh, self-taught, isn't it? <laughs> looking at the rest of the week, though, uh, you're getting into this press conference podium scenario time after time, it would appear now at TTs, and there's still two more races to go. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'd love to have won the race on Saturday, but you know, I've got two more chances to try and get it sorted out. But you know, the Poker Stars race would have been a, a nice one because they, obviously they, they back me as well. And, you know, it's, it's greatly uh, received from me, and thanks to them for getting me, you know, here today as well. So, but you know, the the senior race is it's a big one, you know, and a Manx lad to to win that would be great. So, well, <laughs> you know, we've got Hutchie here and everyone else who's you know putting fast times, and so it's going to be not it's not going to be easy at all. So, but you know, McAdoo bikes flying. Um, just got a sort of problem we had out on Saturday, which I'm sure you will do, and uh, hopefully we'll be right there. We're talking of fast times, two 131 mile an hour laps in this race on Saturday. Says you're going well. Congratulations today on third place in the Superstock TT in second place. And another big glug of champagne. I think he's going to be partying tonight is Ryan Farquhar. A, a fantastic result for you. And uh, it's a small operation. I know you like it that way better and you want to take on the big boys. Uh, there's, no doubt, there's no doubt about that. You know, I give 100% the whole race. And uh, I knew knew before you know we we'll come here after the Northwest that the the Superstock race is the race we're going to be strongest in, and you know right through both both nights I took the bike out and practice were quickest and uh, I knew or had a fair idea before the race started you know that there's going to be three or four other riders that you know is going to be bang on the pace and I figured you know to win the race you're going to have to do 130 mile an hour and I was fairly confident that we could do it but. Uh, I would just like to thank everybody that's helped me, especially Nick Morgan of MSS Kawasaki. You know, he lent me an engine for today's race. And Kawasaki UK, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's great for Kawasaki to have two, two bikes in the, in the podium. So really, really pleased with, with my result. And a bit disappointed not to win. You know, I think I rode hard enough to win, but there's just, I think there's three or four back markers sort of spoiled it for me in the last lap. Not taking nothing away from me. And, you know, he rode. He's on top of his game. He has been all season, you know. And, you know, he's won three races this week, so it's not embarrassing sitting here, you know, in second place behind him. But all I can say, I give a hundred percent. And as you say, it's a small operation. I bought the bike myself. I built it, and you know, I just come give a hundred percent, and it wasn't good enough to win. But I'm really, really pleased to get a second place and almost lap at 130 mile an hour. He very nearly did, but you had a, an eight-second lead at one point. You seem to lose time in the pits. I. If you know, coming into the pits, I knew you know the riders that I come in with. I knew they were they were up and away before. You know, I don't know whether fuel rig was just too slow or just seemed to take for ages. But 
you know, the lads in the pits done a great job. And, you know, like I say, I'd just like to thank everybody that's helped me. We, we all give 100%. Uh, we were working on the bike last night to half 11, and it just wasn't good enough on the, the day to win. But we'll be back next, next year bigger and better. Good to hear in a party, I would suspect, tonight. A nod of the head. Right about that. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, second place, Ryan Farquhar. Running out of superlatives. First place, Ian Hutchinson in the Royal London 360 Superstock TT. You ducked the question uh, after your win this morning, but three wins in the week, two in the day again, and you were uh, amongst a very small number that did that last year. I've got to ask you about Phil McCallan's record now. Four wins. It's on, isn't it? Uh, we'll still see, but for now, I'll we'll just take each one. I need to... You're still ducking it. I need to let today sink in, you know, it's the first time I, you know, really going to take a bit of sinking in. It's been a special week so far. You said uh, to Chris Kinley before we went live on air that you needed to go and get away from things for a bit just to realise what you've done. It all seems a dream. You're having to pinch yourself. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, that bike, uh, I was a little bit, not really asleep, but I just wanted to be cautious and not be you know, too giddy at the start of it because uh, I don't think we've even done a flying lap in practice on that bike yet and um, I just wanted to get a bit of a feel for it first and, you know, my first board was P4 and I just chipped away really and the bike just felt better and better throughout the race. You also did 130.7, a quite incredible speed on a super stocker. Yeah, it, it, it just don't... <laughs> you said it at the press conference, in fairness, that you thought it would go over Yeah, well, you know, last year I did 129.7 and um, we've got a quick shifter this year. We never opted for the, the kit ECU that you could put on, but we put the quick shifter on, so, you know, all through winter I was, like, pretty cocky, saying, yeah, we'll be able to do 130. And I've done about 126 in practice. I started going back into my shell thinking there's no chance of 130, but, you know, that... Well, when they asked what the speed was, Clive Padgett and Harvey Beltran, and we said it was 0. 0.7, they went, what, 0. 0.7? Yeah, it's, it is just unbelievable for what is pretty much a road bike. You know, it's uh, you can look at it whatever you want and people can say whatever gets done with super stocks or whatever, but, you know, it, it is a road bike and it's unbelievable. But just going on to the last lap, I've never wanted a race as much in my life. I don't know why, I just, I just got this thing in between my teeth and but it's becoming a habit i i overheard uh jamie whitham saying on the line that hutchie rides these things the best of all and that's i must have said that to myself about 10 times going on the last lap but yeah it was and there certainly wasn't a lot left on that last lap i was just doing massive slides and control but you know great big slides and backing it in like i was going into redgate at donington park but we had to, to get the win you've just about uh, sealed the TT Solo Championship already. Well, yeah, I said that to myself last year when I got up for the senior, but... <laughs> <laughs> we won't mention Quarterbridge. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, your top three in the Royal London 360 Superstock TT. Third, Connor Cummins. Second, Ryan Farquhar. And a race winner, three in a week, Ian Hutchinson.